This is the second technique of tessellations. We're going to do a tessellation by reflection. Okay. So we know that we could tessellate with triangles, hexagons, and squares, but we're going to start with the square. And reflection is very similar to translation in that we go from one corner to an adjacent corner with a cut. We go ahead and we cut into the shape and we do something that's hopefully not too complicated, but also not too simple either. So I'm going to go ahead and use my scissor and cut along that line. Again, don't be too worried about being perfect on the line. It's still going to work because all we really care about is the cut edge. The cut edge is more important than the drawn edge. Okay. So for translation, we just brought the piece directly over. For reflection, we bring it over and then we flip it and attach it. This time I am going to make sure that my corners match up. And I want to make sure um, that there is no gap or overlap between the pieces. The same idea before, we're going to be cutting from one cut edge across the figure, across the tape, to the other cut edge. So I could cut from here, I could cut from here, I could cut from here. It doesn't really matter, but I am going to cut from here for now. And I could swing this around and cut all the way over to here. I could go over into this area. I'm just going to go over to this point, which is already in my paper. Okay. And Translation was where we just bring it over and tape it, but we're doing reflection, so we must bring it over and then flip it. Whenever you do translation, uh, you never flip things. When you do reflection, you must flip things. And you can't just flip one and leave the other one alone. It has to both be flipped. So you want to make sure that you're consistent with your technique. And now I have a tessellation piece. It's got a different sort of a look than the ones that we did with transla translation. So reflection has a different sort of uh, shape about it. Okay, I'm gonna do one more uh, without drawing the lines so you can see the technique. So again, I go from one corner and cut to an adjacent corner. I'm gonna make a wiggle waggle. Bring it back. Stopping at an adjacent corner. I bring it over and I flip it. So to do the reflection, we have to flip it. Okay. Again, I cut from one cut edge somewhere down here over to this side. I could start here, I could start here, could start here, doesn't really matter. I'm going to park, pick over here, go through the tape. Where it was, bring it over, and I flip it. Bring the two edges together, make sure the corners match up, and I tape it so that there's no gaps. If I have any tape that sticks over the edge, you want to make sure that you uh, fold that over or rip it off or cut it off, and now I have a tessellation piece. 